So for this problem to find if there is significant difference between these two samples, so for the null hypothesis, there is no significant difference or the two means are equal. Then for this alternative hypothesis, there is significant difference or the two means are not equal. So to find if there is significant difference between these two samples using this t-test, then we need to find the p-value. But first, we need to solve for the mean or the average for every sample. So to find the average or the mean for sample 1 from this Excel file, so we have equals, then type the average, open parenthesis, highlight the data of sample 1, close parenthesis, then enter. So this is now the average or the mean for sample 1. Then to find the mean for sample 2, so equals, type the average, open parenthesis, highlight the data of sample 2, close parenthesis, enter, so the mean for sample 2 is 9. Then for the standard division, so to find the standard division, for sample 1 equals then type stdiv then open parenthesis highlight the data of sample 1 close parenthesis enter so the standard division for sample 1 is 3.61 then for the standard division for sample 2 so equals stdiv Open parenthesis, highlight the data of sample 2, close parenthesis, enter. So the standard division for sample 2 is 2.44. Then to find the variance of these two samples, so since variance is the square of the standard division, so we have equals then click the standard division, take the square, so the variance for sample 1 is 13.06. Then to find the variance for sample 2, so equals, click the standard division, take the square, equals, so the variance for sample 2 is 6. Then this time, we need to find the ratio of these two variants. So the ratio of the bigger variants over the smaller variants to find if the data is homo or hetero. So equals the bigger variants over the smaller variants. Enter. So that's 2.1. So since the ratio between these two variants is 2.1 and this one is less than 4. Therefore, this one is HOMO and we can use this one to find the p-value for the t-test. So to find out the p-value for the t-test, so equals then type t-test, open parenthesis, Highlight the data of sample 1, and then comma, highlight the data of sample 2, then comma, so use two-tail, so two-tail distribution, that's 2, then comma, so since this one is homo, then these two sample equal variance, and for 3, that's hetero. So again, if the ratio between these two variants is less than 4, then the data is HOMO. So since this one is HOMO, so this one is 2 sample equal variance. So we have 2, close parenthesis, enter. 
So, therefore, the p-value is equal to 0 0.013. Then, since the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis so, therefore, there is significant difference between the two samples. So, again, this is now our conclusion because we reject this null hypothesis, so we accept this alternative hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis there is significant difference between the two samples